And seriously, I do have Excel sheets that keep track of all my expenses on a monthly basis and running balance, calculating automatically. Like I'm, I'm, I'm straight up. I'm straight up. Like I'm telling you, like if you are a guy and you're like a good way to like actually start a, a good relationship is to help her figure out something that she can't do. Right. Like if you see her life is chaos, like I'm telling you, like, that's what I'm saying. The cell sheets are great. Or like, I don't know. There's so many things that I, I, I was a mess. And then guys have come into my life and they're like, what? And I'm like, cool. I'm going to teach you how to like load a dishwasher properly. Or like, I don't know. <laughs> Be very definitive in my answers. What you're saying is to be capable. Yes, that's true. Be very capable. Cleaning a fucking grill too. If I could get a guy to show me how to clean my grill properly, that would be fucking great. Sounds manipulative to me? No. No. You help each other out. I started a relationship by doing your dishes. Straight up? Yeah, because she's like, wow, that's so nice. Oh, well, thank you, Edward. For sure, Martin, for sure. I've almost got them down doing them myself. I have a password spreadsheet I'm working on now. Just showing her my Elden Ring gameplay count as masculine. I mean, for me, totally. I don't know about most girls. Unless you find gamer girls, for sure. Yes, but what if a girl is annoyed with you that you're trying to fix their life and they don't think anything is wrong? No, 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 no. You're not fixing their life. You're just helping them. You're helping them do something that that they weren't doing quite well, right? Not that you're fixing their life. You're not overhauling everything. You're just noticing, hey, something over here you could need help with, and I'm going to help you with it. Definitely don't tell them you could need help with that. Just be like, hey, I want to help you with this, right? Even if it's just like you see a girl that you like and struggling now, like have a conversation with her mom. Be like, I want to listen to it and maybe I can help give you advice or something, right? What? What? This is what my dog does all night. All day. Now she's not going to do it? What? She, she's literally just jumps, now she, she's jumping on me. She's literally, you see? She just jumps on my, jumps on me until I give her attention. Now she's gonna wait a minute. Yep, now she's right here. What? 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 She just doesn't understand that in the heat of the day, she can't play with the hose. She just wants the hose. Look at this, hose? Hose, swimming. Hose, walking, hiking, playing in the hose. <laughs> hose. Should I join a kickboxing gym or a BG BJJ gym? Uh, I think kickboxing is way better because some of those things actually will hurt your back over time. I've never dated a girl. Make How can I approach work. a girl? How can I approach a girl to make her feel more comfortable? So, um, because I said this, I, I keep, I think the best thing, if you want to approach a girl, make sure you're doing it in an environment that's not threatening, you know, make sure there's a girl around or other people around. So you don't feel like take some of the pressure off as well. Um, body language, make sure you're not closing yourself off. You're having good body language. Your shoulders are up, you know, and then. I think the rest of the advice I would give you, I would I would have to see you for that type of stuff. 
Chico for a good relationship. Make sure she has a flower vase and make sure it's always full. That's true. Kim, feel free to get in my Discord and ask some questions. 